Here, I brought some coral porridge. Oh, oh you really brought it. <gasps> Seems to be right. <laughs> oh, this is cor coral porridge. I made it myself. Oh, I feel much better now. I can't remember anything after seeing squid tentacles. Ah, a human! What is a human doing here? Well, you could say I saved you. I defeated the giant squid and brought you the coral porridge. Hmm, is that so? Wait, Ramo, that's not it. I'm actually the one who... All right then, human. You shall escort me back to my village. Me? Why should I? I'm an injured lady, and I need to keep anything dangerous from happening. Ramo, I can escort you to... Wom, you go ahead and scout our path. What? How could you let a human escort you? I can keep you safe and... You haven't even passed the village tactics exam. It was tough enough coming here. Oh, that's a sore spot for me. Wom, stop complaining and be our lookout for the path ahead. As for you, human, you'll have to carry me on your back. On my back? It's hard enough to move around as it is down here. Oh, my injured fin is hurting again. You are impossible. I will take you to the village and no further, all right? Okay, good. Follow along. Make sure Ramo isn't hurt. Not this way, human. Let's go follow Schwamm. Oh, I see him. What is this vibration? It's rare to experience one so strong. Did something happen to the village? We must return quick. Hurry, human. I'm gonna tuck you up here. I'm gonna go fight. You know where?
Hey, now, human, don't tell me you're tired already. Bring her carefully. He's not gonna let me get that. This our path is in is blocked with rock. Oh no, what is going on? Okay. Um, it must have been the vibrations earlier. Mom, um, think of something. I need to get back quick before my father scolds me even more. Um uh -huh. maybe we can open up a path by dropping the loose rock pile over there. Maybe if we can topple it and make it fall, it might just do the trick. Well, I suppose it might work. How do we make the rocks fall, though? Hmm, I see a stake over there. Maybe if we pull it out? Human, can you pull that out that stake over there? The stake? I think I hurt my hands with the gloves I'm wearing. I could probably do it with gloves that are thicker and offer a better grip. Dave, my apologies. I left my microphone on because I was dying to know what you were talking about. If it's enhanced diving clubs you need, I think my lab could help you out. Huh? New gloves? Ah, equipment goes hand in hand with exploration, does it not? Come up to the boat. I think there must be a way. Could you wait here for a moment? Hold it, human. You plan to leave Rambo in a dangerous place like this? Luckily, she has me guarding her. Still, be back quick.
Hmm, the road back to the Sea People Village. Hmm. Oh, fascinating. My lab has developed some diving gloves to be used for retrieving artifacts. I see. That should let me pull out a stake without my hand slipping, right? Of course. It has various safety measures built in that will let you move many other objects besides stakes. The long dive must have been tiring. Get some rest. I'll explain the details tomorrow. I'll come to the boat tomorrow morning. Here, are, these are the special diving gloves made in our research facility. With these, you'll be able to pick up various objects in the water. Why don't you test them out yourself and enter the water? Oh, it's gonna be. Objects that can be picked up will show a button when you go near them. First, try grabbing a pile of rocks over there and dropping them. Uh, that's weak wood, so you should be able to break through. Wow, very nice. Let's try going down. Oh. It's only letting me focus on... That current straw, grab that acre so it won't sweep you away. Good, you can grab onto objects like that to anchor yourself while come in handy in places with strong currents. Ooh, I see something shiny back there. Grab the stake in front of you and pull. Awesome, since the path is open, grab the treasure up top before coming up. Alright, see you on the boat. Hello. Looks like Dr. Bacon left abruptly again after finishing ex explanation. In any case, these diving gloves look like they could come in very handy. I heard that the sea people are waiting for you. Go down there and try pulling out that stake.
Yes, these diving gloves should be able to pick up sea urchins. Sea search sea urchin sushi. Just the thought of it makes me drool. Finally.
Ah, is that pile of rocks moving around? Ah, it's Ugh, it's that octopus from last time, spraying ink again. I won't let you get away this time, just wait. Wait, the path is clear. Just wait, you octopus. We should probably so much going on. Mm. Hey, how dare you spray ink twice? I won't you get away with this. Mm -hmm. Ask Bancho uh ask Bancho for uh, I don't Uh oh. Ah, uh, it ran away. Again. Definitely quick. Hmm, drop something again. Hmm, it always leaves something behind. It might not as be as bad as I thought. Hmm, it seems to be an active, uh, artifact. I'll have to identify it back at the surface.
Oh, you're back, human. I was afraid you'd been eaten by a frilled shark on the way back. Mm. Talks like someone I know. Mm. I think I'll be able to pull out the steak if I use the diving gloves from Dr. Bacon, who lives on land. Oh. Bacon. <laughs> In our language, that name sounds like spoiled whale meat. No. Um, okay. Wait a moment. Let me try and pull it. Oh. Up here, what's that? It's further up than I thought. It was effective, but not enough. Hmm. I think one more attempt might cut it. Human, there's another rock pile over there. Hmm. Hmm, there's no movable device over there. I have to go check it out first. Hmm, there's nothing that can be done on this side. I have to try going around back. Oh, uh, I thought it was dead. I thought it was dead. way.
there's a stake in the back. If I pull that out. Human, good, we have a path. You're more useful than you look. The village is very full close. Come in through the hole you just made. I'll go ahead. Wait, I can leave now, can't I? Would you listen to yourself? Aren't you worried for Ramo? Besides, I have a request for you, so I would like you to come to the village with us. The Sea People Village? Me? Yes, there's a reason I came all the way up to the Human Sea. I have a request. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm getting really spooky. Uh, I'm getting real spooky vibes. <laughs> Something just moved past me. Human, go ahead and be your lookout. But it's so dark. I feel like there might be something dangerous there. Uh You sense a dangerous creature's presence. Enter. Yeah. What is this? Why is there debris like this so deep? Oh no. Those vibrations again. Mm. Something has to be here. Why did he come... Why did he tell me to come alone? The wolf eel. Uh, what is that? There are wolf eels that big? I don't think I can run. Oh, whatever. looks really tough. That shining spot on its tail, it looks weaker than the rest of the body.
Okay, I got it. Uh, how can a wolf eel be so big? Um, I was just about to come and defeat it. I guess I came too late. Ha! You're stronger than I expected, human. Now, you see that big gate over there? That's the entrance to the village. Take the lead, human! Oh, we finally made it back to the village. Uh, Rama, you have a key, right? Oh no, I left the key back at the... Just kidding, I have it here in my bag. Oh, I thought you were going to make me take you again. Then insert the key and get back to the village. This is pretty. Sea People Village. Mm. Wow. So this is... Oh. Ah, that's right. This is the Sea People Village we live in. Mm. To think there would be a place like this under the sea. Oh. Wait. Oh. How did a human get in here? Oh. Huh. Raymo and Swam? Swam? Uh, were you kidnapped by this human? Tenzin awaits you. He lost sleep worrying about you. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. Allow me. I rescued Rama after she was kidnapped by a squid. Forget it. Just take me to my father. Be faster for me to explain things to him. Oh my goodness, my daughter! Where were you, my precious girl? Your daddy, your daddy was worried out of his wits. Are you hurt? Did the humans do something to you, my daughter? Wait, who is this next to you? I thought you brought a blue manatee, but this is a human. <laughs> What is going on here? I'd like an explanation. You know the strange things that have been happening around here recently, right? For example, the tremors and the ice melting off the divine tree. Of course, I've been looking into the causes. 
already been two years. I know our technology has its limit. Well, well, the ancient texts have all been lost and we need to figure out new methods again. We can't simply keep waiting, Father. Humans are selfish, but we have good technology. Humans are selfish, but they have good technology. We need their help. No, not the humans. They can't be trusted. They dirtied our home and even hunted our kind to put on display. They're wicked creatures looking to hunt us and steal from us. We can't ally with the likes of... Another huge tremor. See, something really bad will happen if we don't do anything. Hmm. When I was taken by the giant squid in human waters, Dave here helped me out. Swam so said he was the one who did that earlier. Try asking him. Not all humans can be bad, can they? I mean, well, even if I wanted this, the villagers would not agree. Getting help from humans, everyone would find that hard to believe. If this man can gain the village's trust, I'll consider your suggestion. The village's trust. How does he go about winning that? How about asking around and see what they need? Alright, since today's long trip must have been pretty tiring, you might come back here tomorrow. You'll have to listen to the villagers' requests. Wait, I didn't even agree yet. How am I supposed to come all the way here? Chapter 3, A Request from the Sea People Hmm, since you say you help my daughter, I suppose it wouldn't be fitting for my people to ignore your needs, even if you're a human. Use this. What is this? It looks like an ordinary mirror. The Sea People mirror, once installed, will let you instantly travel to this village. Oh, such a thing possible? The various disasters have caused our decline, but our ancestors were a very advanced civilization once. Right now, all we have left is a few of their relics. Badly. In any case, installing this in your village will allow you to come to this village whenever you need. It will recognize your face since only you will be able to use it. It also operates from the light of the divine tree or the sun, so you can only use it during the day. Oh, and I'll give you a village map to use. It'll help you find the villagers. Hmm, a teleportion... Hmm, a teleportation device. That's pretty amazing. I'll have to go back to the boat with this mirror for now. 